okay so in this question an increasing force acts on a metal wire and the wire extends from an initial length of l naught to a new length that is l the graph shows the variation of force with the length of the wire the energy required to extend the wire from l naught to l is e the wire then contracts to half of its original extension what is the work done by the wire as it contracts okay fine so we have to find the work done while the wire is contracting. So it is moving from one extreme position towards the mean position, but it is in the midway of that. Fine. So in these kind of questions, uh, one thing is very sure. What is that? There is a formula for the potential energy in the spring, and that is half kx squared. You might remember that. Whatever be the material, it is wire or it is a, a bar, whatever it can be treated as a spring and the formulas for the spring are actually applicable on every wire. The only thing is that the value of K is different. It depends upon the Young's modulus and various other uh, parameters, but half KX square is absolutely correct. Now, having been said that, now I am going to invoke the work energy theorem that we have uh, completed earlier. Now, work energy theorem is the work done by um, the field force or the restoring force. In this case, it will be restoring force. It will be equal to the positive change in kinetic energy and the negative change in the potential energy. So this is what we have done in work energy theorem. From that only, so there is no question of kinetic energy because we're talking about a wire and it is getting extended and it is getting contract. So there is no question of kinetic energy. We would be concerned with potential energy then. So work done by restoring force will be negative of the potential energy final minus potential energy initial, which means initial minus final. So the potential energy initial will be half K x square where x is the total extension in the wire so in the first case the extension is l minus l naught because earlier the length was l naught now the now the total length is l so it will become l minus l naught square minus finally it is at this location half of the extension so extension is now half so we are now left with what is the extension l minus l naught divided by two whole square because now the remaining extension is L minus L naught by 2. From here, we can take uh, this as common. We would be left with this. And this much, this is given as E in the question. So we can substitute this as E. So it will become 3 by 4 E. Simply, your answer will be C, that is 0 0.5 E. Also, at this point, I want to add one thing more. In such a kind of questions where the graph is given to you, you need not to solve this much long many a times. But in this case, we have to. But in many a cases, you will not be required for that. Why? Because you have to always see the SI unit of the physical quantities on y-axis and x-axis. Because, for example, this is force, this will be Newton, and this is length, this is meter. Clearly, we are coming to this conclusion that the area under the curve will be having a unit, Newton meter, which is basically same as Joule. So, I can say that the area under the curve will be uh, either the energy or it will be the work. Because the SI unit is Joule. Simple. That is why. So in this case, actually we are finding the area of this. This is the area that we are actually finding. Now the problem in this graph is that these y-axis values are not given to us. That is why we are not able to find the area directly. Otherwise, by finding the area directly, you could have reached the same conclusion that the energy remaining is, uh, the energy lost is 0.75e. That could be far more easier than this. But that is not possible in this case. That is why we have done this. Let us now check the answer once. Yes, the answer is C. With this, all the best. Bye.